Hi guys, it is me Zarela and I am here with a tutorial for you guys and this is going to be a Sims 3 tutorial. This is going to be how to install Sims 3 custom content. So I have not played Sims 3 on my new computer and I just thought before I started to um, install custom content that I would do a how to install for you guys if you guys didn't know already. So um, it's very easy. All you have to do is go ahead and get either WinWar or 7-Zip, and the one that I use is WinWar, and um, yeah, so I believe you get a free trial for WinWar, and then you're going to have to buy it, but if you search on YouTube for some free versions, I'm sure you'll be able to find out how to get it free, but sometimes you can get viruses like that, so <laughs> I think 7-Zip is all the way free, I think so, so either one I use Renoir and I use the English 64-bit and if you have a 32-bit computer then you would use the 32-bit um, but to see if you have 64 or 32 you just go to the control panel and then go to my computer and go to like your computer properties or something and it'll tell you so anyways you get Renoir 64-bit or 32-bit and then the same for 7-zip you get either 64 or 32-bit depending on your computer so after you get Renoir or 7-zip uh, you just run it and install it then you're going to need to go to this link and I will link it down below and it's the mods of sims and you just go right here to download and you click download and then you open it with your Renoir or 7-zip and then it should come up like this and you should have a folder called mods and then it will have two folders in here it will have overrides which I have no idea what it is and it has packages which is where all of your mods are going to go inside of this packages folder so then you need this resource .cfg. so what I do is I go all the way back and I scroll down and it's still highlighted so I it's still highlighted make sure it's highlighted so I do that and then I click extract to then I go to documents and then electronic arts the sims 3 and then I go to I just double click the sims 3 and then I click OK so now you're gonna want to open up the sims 3 so go to your documents electronic arts 3 sims 3 and you'll have a mods folder and inside will have all the things I just showed you packages they already give you two mods if you want to keep them or delete them it's fine you can delete them if you want to um, basically this one is is when you're building you know how it shows the little sparkles and it gets kind of annoying um, it gives you that and then this one is no intro where you don't have like that long video intro and you don't have to sit through that long video intro when you first start up the sims 3 so yeah I'm gonna keep both of those um, but yeah that's basically how you get sims 3 custom content now this is how you install it into your game um, you're gonna wanna find I use the sims 3 resource um, and I use ms4b I will leave or MS3B. I will leave those two links down here or down below for where I get my custom content. I also get them on Tumblr, but I'm not going to link that down below because you guys won't know. But um, I, the most ones that I use is The Sims Resource and MS3B. So, anyways, this is The Sims Resource, and I just found some hair that I like. So, I'm going to go ahead and click download, and then it'll take you to the screen. And if you are not if you are not um if you don't have like a subscription or, or you're not a VIP member and you don't pay through fifty a month, then you're gonna have to wait ten seconds uh to get your download. And it's not that bad, so so I just wait the three sec the ten seconds and then it says thank you for downloading and then you just wait till it pops up and it comes right here. So then you're going to want to open it with the Sims 3 Starter Launcher. So we're going to click OK. Sometimes it's like this and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's like actually a file. So I'll go ahead and see if I can find a file for you guys so I can show you how to install that. Okay, so I found one on MS4B and it lit, it led me to a Tumblr page, Sim Simi, and I found these shorts that I would like to get. So I would scroll down and find which ones I want. This is a natural fit set long. 
um, natural fit set short and um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the natural fit set short and I'm going to open with WinWar or 7-Zip whichever one you have and then it'll open and then you can have it's, it shows you a picture of what you're downloading and then some some of them do that some of them don't and then it has the dot package file or it has the sims 3 where you can just double click and it'll install it from the sims 3 launcher this is how you extract then you just um, highlight it extract to documents EA I mean not EA <laughs> electronic arts the sims 3 and then mods folder then packages and you click OK so then there you have it okay so that is all for my video hope you guys enjoyed hope it helped you guys if it did then leave a like um, and I'm not able to show you guys because I just tried to but it didn't record and since they takes too long to load so I'm not gonna go through all that but it did work the items were in there so hope you guys enjoyed and yeah um, see you guys in my next video bye bye